Hi, I'm Ed Lazier. I'm a senior fellow at Stanford's Hoover Institution. I believe that America is exceptional, and here's why. In this particularly political moment, it's relevant that America is exceptional in the opportunities that it offers immigrants. We are the only country, including Canada, where the unemployment rate among the foreign-born is actually lower than among the native-born population. Our immigrants actually do better in employment than does the native-born population. The fact that we're able to bring in immigrants and get those people in good jobs is a very good sign, and it reflects the fact that we're still a welcoming nation. This good news is related to our relatively light labor regulation. Employment at Will essentially says that the employer is free to decide whether or not you work for his firm. That's not true in Europe. When you lay off a worker, you have to compensate that worker for being laid off. That may sound like a socially just contract, but it has consequences. In Spain, for example, employers have to give a laid off employee six months of pay for 10 years of service. In Italy, it's about $2,000 for three years of service. As a reaction to that, these countries have lowered their hiring rates dramatically. If a company fears that it cannot lay off workers, it's not going to hire them in the first place unless it's pretty certain that it can afford to retain that worker permanently. European companies also use temporary as opposed to permanent contracts. In France today, virtually everyone is hired into a temporary job. People who stay in the job for long enough become permanent. But as a consequence, the companies fire them to avoid making them permanent. Now that's just kind of crazy. Just when you're getting good at the job, after three years worth of experience, they say, hey, you're out the door because I can't afford to keep you permanently. If I do so, I'm locked in forever and I have to pay you leave. That's not a very effective way to run a system. And it's just one example of regulatory differences across the two continents. America has also had historically light taxes. The ratio of combined state, local, and federal tax to GDP in the United States is 26%. In France, the figure is 45%. By international standards, our taxes are still quite low. There are also other elements that differentiate our economy from other economies in the world. We are much less tolerant than most countries of class warfare based on our economic situations. We don't have labor parties in the United States. Socialism has never taken off here. Even the union movement in the United States is thought of one of business unionism as opposed to social or revolutionary unionism. Sam Gompers, the founder of the AFL, now part of the AFL-CIO, said he believed that management and workers could get together to reach beneficial understandings, to get the job done with a fair day's work for a fair day's pay. And that's why the American economy is exceptional.